So with double XP weekend, getting experience is going to get a whole lot harder. Now there are three methods to finishing this fifth inning program. One of them is just playing the game out naturally. You can go ahead and do the missions available. You can do the conquest map. And if you got the stubs to buy the three bosses, you can do the collections and that's going to give you a head start. And then daily missions, of course, and just playing the game naturally, not forcing yourself to do any XP methods. But there are two additional XP methods that you can go ahead and also knock out that are going to help you out greatly. Now, the first one is going to involve downloading a roster. In order to download the roster, all you need to do is go to create and then go to the vault section. I'm going to go ahead and skip because right now in the logo section, they have some boobs and that's TOS for YouTube and I'm not trying to get banned. So as soon as you get to the logo screen, just press R1 once and you will arrive at rosters. Go to sort and then just go to the left once. Press square for sort again and then just download LSC XP grind 2. Once you download that, you can go ahead and basically start. I already have it downloaded, but you're going to see me overwrite it. It is going to say unhandled server exception occurred. You're going to bypass that. It's still going to download it. And in order for you to check whether or not it is downloaded, all you have to do is enter file management before you go ahead into the exhibition and you will see that it does end up being downloaded. So we're going to go to file management and then load. We're going to load rosters, saved rosters, and then we're going to click on LSC XP grind 2. Shout out to light skin Chris. I'll leave his link inside the description. Now the settings that you're going to want to use for this, and I'll move the camera over in order for everyone to go ahead and see this, is going to be your simulation settings. Now if you don't have a simulation setting, whatever is your default setting, just go ahead and press save as new preset and then create from current and then just go ahead and rename the preset that you just created to simulation. Once you are there, all you're going to do is turn the hitting difficulty to rookie if you go ahead and decide to hit and then turn the pitching difficulty to rookie or beginner whichever one of the two you want as you scale it up although you will be getting a lot more experience but you are going to be sacrificing time as it is going to be harder to go ahead and get the strikeouts or whatever it is you need and then last but not least when it comes to fielding you want to go ahead and put fielding decision to auto and then throw in decision to on so the cpu can just go ahead and play for you the only player that you will be responsible for controlling is going to be the pitcher and then last but not least for presentation you want fast play you don't want any pitch selection cameras and i go ahead and i turn off batter walk up i turn off the sideline reports and the in-game ticker now once you've got all of that basically ready to go all you're going to do is once again just to make sure that you have the rosters loaded up go into load go into save rosters click on his roster and then drop down to exhibition remember he said the texas rangers are the zero overalls and then the philadelphia phillies are going to be the 99s so you're gonna want to go ahead and put the texas rangers at home therefore your pitcher is not going to get the opportunity to hit which is definitely what we want since we are going to be player locking on the pitcher now you're going to be playing at texas stadium and if you don't want to play over there you also have a bunch of classic stadiums that you can go ahead and play at that will make it difficult for them to score any runs i prefer playing at forbes field and you enter forbes field select zach wheeler because zach wheeler is the pitcher that he has that has the Darren O'Day pitch in motion. And don't just select Zach Wheeler, you also want to player lock him. And in order to player lock him, you're gonna press R2, and then you're gonna be good to go, and enter, and just basically rinse and repeat that nine inning process of just striking out a bunch of players. Now, what usually occurs once you restart it is that it unlocks the player. So unfortunately, in that situation, you are gonna go ahead and have to once again player lock him by exiting and restarting the entire thing another thing that i forgot to say for pitching is the pitching interface that you want to be using is going to be classic so i'm going to do one inning and you guys are going to be able to see how many or how much experience i should say we're going to get for one innings worth of work you want to get as many strikeouts as you can but the most important thing is just not giving up any runs any hits any home runs and 
keeping in mind that they are zero overall players that's going to help you all out tremendously when it comes to that joey gallo he shouldn't even be on this roster he should be on the new york yankees but of course you know his roster is not updated to the trade deadline so we got 540 experience for that quick inning where we struck out three players we're going to go ahead and exit rapidly and you will see that the actual experience that you're supposed to be getting is 273 the reason why it says 540 is because for some reason it is still taking into account double xp whether it's a glitch or not i'm not sure but you're going to be getting 273 per each inning that you strike out three players which is a decent amount once you calculate it and you go ahead and do the hourly now the second method available you are going to need two controllers for so if you have a second ps4 controller not a ps5 controller then just go ahead download the ps4 version of mlb the show 21 and plug your usb onto the ps4 version or i should say onto your ps4 controller and then you're going to turn that controller on once you turn that controller on on your ps5 or xbox whichever one of the two you're using you can go ahead and just press add user and then play as a guest quick play whichever it is that you want to go ahead and do and you're going to go down into exhibition you're going to put player one as the hitters so you're going to be the raise and then player two which is the controller you just went ahead and got you're going to put them as the home team which are going to be the dodgers you're going to turn on quick counts and then this is probably the most boring way to do it in my opinion which is just intentionally walking yourself non-stop but these are the two XP methods that you can go ahead and use in order to knock out the program as fast as you can. Now, what I suggest you going ahead and doing as well is walking in 250 runs. I believe it caps at either 250 or 450, but just to be safe, I do just 100 runs. After 100 runs, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about anything anymore and just continue on doing your thing. But you're going to intentionally walk them non-stop until you get yourself 100 runs. Then purposefully get yourself three outs or hit a grand slam or something. But get yourself three outs with your main controller. So run around the bases until you tag yourself three times. That way the experience is guaranteed in the top left. It might take some time for it to actually show in the inning program. But just know that it's going to be coming at you. Now this experience of course is nerfed tremendously ever since sds found out about it so that's something you want to keep in mind as well you might be getting a lot more experience from the 99 overall and no you're not supposed to be getting stubs from doing this method either the only reason that you saw stubs appear is because for some reason it glitches out and it gives me back all the stubs that i had started the game off with and then last but not least as i said the best method and to me, the method that I normally use is just going ahead and playing the game out naturally. You have a bunch of pitching missions or daily missions, I should say, that you can go ahead and do. Just hop into play versus CPU for the ones that are available for play versus CPU, knock them out. The multiplayer hits, you guys can go ahead and hop into events to knock these out as well. And then the exchanges, you guys should have a bunch of players from all the packs that we get. Look at the missions for the missions ones, same thing go into events and knock all of these out if these cards are not available in events then just either get them through battle royale or ranked seasons get yourself a bunch of experience we are going to have the conquest guide coming out to you all very soon so also stay tuned for that and then i wouldn't suggest going ahead and spending the stubs in order to get these three because at the end of the day they're going to be adding a lot more collections and through all those collections you are going to be re receiving bonus xp and another thing to pay attention to is the new daily moments program that is going to be coming out for the month of august because the first two or maybe they have three this time around evolution cards are going to be needed for the collections for the eighth inning program in order to get some extra experience and another big change that i forgot to mention in previous videos that they did with the daily moments program is now moments are going to be available for two days after they initially enter and will be the show so august 1st moment will be available until august 3rd after august 3rd on august 4th it will be basically cleansed from the moments list so it's going to give us a lot more time to go ahead and knock out all these moments and get all the rewards necessary which a 98 overall is going to be coming to the game so pay attention to that 
But if you did end up enjoying today's content, please make sure to hit that like button or subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials and everything else that is listed inside the description. We stream each and every single day on Twitch at 1 a.m. Eastern. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.